Hello Year 7, welcome to Term 3 Lesson 1 and we're going to be looking at something today which kind of looks at something that goes beyond what we would normally do within our drama lessons and that's mainly because we've got to be really really creative in in what we're thinking about and actually we're going to look at somebody from the arts community who is an inspiration to us so or actually more specifically we're going to look today at a set of people a set of people from not just the performing arts but maybe creative arts as well so that could be an artist or, or a tv presenter or somebody that you would feel is in the arts community that is an inspiration to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look first at our lesson objectives. So our first objective today is we're going to identify different roles and categories within the arts community. So I think you will know lots and lots of people in the performing arts world. So you might be able to give me an example of somebody who might be a performing artist. Um, but can you think actually outside of the box and who else might fall under an arts inspiration and what types of people we might look at to do that? Then what we're going to do is we are going to go from looking at categories and roles and we're going to actually identify six people from the arts world who inspire us. So we're actually going to go from this really broad area, so looking at just a dancer and a singer, and then we're actually going to pick those people, and we're going to pick six today to look at. And then what we're going to do is we're going to explain why your chosen six arts inspirations ex uh, inspire you. So why have you chosen those people? Um, why are they inspirational? Give me examples of things that they m might have done that, that would... Um, suggest why they are your inspirations today. So you are going to need a variety of resources for today's session and one of those is going to be your drama exercise book. Now if you don't have that at home um, you can just get a scrap piece of note paper um, because you are going to need that to do our first task today. You are also going to need access to the internet so that you can gather some images because we're going to work towards putting together a storyboard or a poster or a powerpoint of the people who inspire us and we're going to need some images for that so access to the internet is quite important. And then finally, um, you need to think about putting that into an appropriate format. So it might be that you're going to do it on Microsoft Word or PowerPoint, or you can print it off and make a storyboard, um, or you can do that by hand, any way that you see fit. But you are going to need some kind of resource at the end of today's lesson um, to show your arts inspirations. So you can think about that and get the resources ready for that. Now, if you don't have those things in front of you, then what you are going to need to do is you are going to need to pause the video now so you can immediately uh, complete the tasks that are put in front of you. So it might be that you want to go and get your drama exercise book now. You can open Internet Explorer and actually you can leave any kind of PowerPoint or Word till later. But make sure that you have your drama exercise book and the Internet Explorer tab open. So I'm going to pause the video now and come back when you've done this. OK, everybody, welcome back. So I'm going to point your direction, first of all, to the green box in the corner of our video. And it says, in your drama exercise book or on a scrap piece of paper, I'd like you to identify as many different types of people who work within the arts. Now, in bold underneath that, it says, you do not need to give me examples just yet, just different categories. So let me give you an example. So I have got two sets of people who I think would be defined as arts categories or sets of um, people who could fall under those arts inspirations. So a singer is a really general point. I just need singer. I do not need Beyonce. So Beyonce would be too specific now. So I'm just looking for the different types of categories that would maybe fall within the arts. So I've given you a more abstract example on the left hand side of the screen and I've put a YouTuber because while we don't think YouTubers maybe to be um, as obvious as, as a singer is um, with being an arts person, they, they, do co they do contribute to the performing arts community because they are, they are known to us and they're actually known to us because of videos that they make, which is actually in itself quite artistic. I'm going to give you one more example before we kick off. Um, an artist 
could be somebody that you think of when you think of somebody who makes up um, a category within the arts community. So I'm looking for lots of different categories, not specific people, but different categories. And there's a couple of examples there to get you on your way. So what I would like you to do is I'd like you to pause the video now. I'd like you to go to your drama exercise book. I would like you to, in the middle of your page, copy the circle that is in the middle of this screen and you can start off with singer and YouTube and I would like you to come up with as many different categories within the arts as you can using my examples to help you okay so pause the video now and come back when you've done this okay everybody welcome back what I have done is on this screen in front of you you will see the two, um, in, in black font, you will see the two examples that I gave you in our previous um, slide. And now you can see in red lots of different examples that I have added that you might or might not have got. Now, if you have got them, brilliant. You don't need to do anything further. But for any of them that you didn't get, I'd like you to add these to your map or your list in a different colour. So we've got singer, we've got YouTuber, an actor might be a person within the arts community, a dancer, maybe a social media influencer or a reality television star, uh, a musician, a playwright or an author. Now they are artistic people. While they are not in front of the camera, they, they are very, very worthy of being uh, somebody that inspires you within the arts community. An artist also. Um, so for those of you who like art um, and you know any artists or any, any people from that world that influence you, you can use those today. Maybe a television presenter or a personality, so Anton Deck. Um, and actually, it could be a variety of different people. If you've got any that are not on my list, that is absolutely fine. As long as you are confident that, that they are in similar categories. So what you can see now is the different examples on the screen are giving you an idea of whether your answers are right. This is not an exclusive list, um, but it is just there to help you along your way. Okay, so for the remainder of today's lesson, what I'm going to ask you to do is the following. So I'm going to talk you through the two boxes on the right hand side of your screen first. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the example that I have done with you. Ignore that for now and just focus on the green and red box. So I'm going to look for you to select six people from the arts industry who inspire you. Now these can be from any of the categories that we have reviewed so far in our session. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to explain a minimum of two to three reasons as to why that individual person inspires you. So what I am looking for is this. You should present your six people and your explanations in a creative format. So what you could do is actually you could open a PowerPoint slide and you could make maybe a big, big visual thought shower or a map um, with all of these different people, almost like my example does. You could make a poster with some key facts and some key explanations with some pictures there of your inspirational people. You could um, do it in really any way that you want, but I want it to be really, really engaging and creative. So another thing that I'm looking for you to do, along with the explanations that is in the task box, I'm also wanting you to find an image of your person. OK, and I want you to include that image in your in your poster or your PowerPoint or in your visual resource that you are creating. So. On the left hand side of the screen, you will see what I've done. So I've actually just in the middle of my page, I've put my arts inspirations, I've drawn a circle around it. And the first arrow that comes off it is to Oprah Winfrey. And I put a picture of her there and I've also put her name because actually I'm, I'm not an expert in all the people that you know. So it's, it's definitely worth naming that person to help your teacher um, know who that is. And then what I have done is I've put two reasons down why that person inspires me. So she, for those of you who don't know, is an American talk show host. Um, she is quite possibly one of the me most famous talk show hosts in the entire world. But she actually inspires me because she's the first African-American female billionaire ever. 
she is she has made that mark and actually that is from her her hard work and her determination in the television industry now actually that's that's my my reason for liking her or my reason for being inspired by her actually has nothing to do with what she's doing on television it's actually because she has made all of this money um and overcome some of the adversities that that she has that she faces. Um, another reason why she is my inspiration is because she not only presented her own talk show, but she also owned the format and she produced it. So she's not only really really clever uh, and really really talented at interviewing people, but she's also got the um, the behind the scenes knowledge and some of that information um, and some of the t the some of the um, the skills, should I say, to, to put together her talk show. So she doesn't just stand in front of the camera and and do that bit, but she also looks at the scheduling and she also owns the format, which is really, really, really clever. And that's really why she inspires me, because she is somebody that um, that is unbelievably talented and she is a pioneer of her community as i said the first african-american female billionaire that is not to be sniffed at at all so you can use my example if you would like to but it might be that oprah winfrey doesn't inspire you i want you to pick six people from the categories uh, from any of the categories so it actually might be that you want to pick six singers or it might be that you want to pick uh, a singer and an actor and a TV presenter. That's absolutely fine. I don't mind. But they need to now be specific people and not categories. So what I'm going to ask you to do is this. I'm going to ask you to pause the video now. I'm going to ask you to minimise the tab on YouTube. And I'd like you to spend about the next 30 minutes creating your resource. It should only take you 30 minutes. If it's taking you more than that, you're probably doing too much, if anything. So again, look, I haven't put loads and loads of um, detail into my explanations, but you can clearly see why I am inspired by her. Um, again, I'm looking for six people in a format of your choice. And again, if that's a poster, brilliant, um, but needs to have some pictures, but also the explanations in there. If you want to copy what I have done and just in PowerPoint, have a circle in the middle and have a picture and the explanations coming off, you are most welcome to do that. But I'd like you to pause the video now and I'd like you to complete that task. And after about 30 minutes or less, if you finish it before that 30 minute deadline, you're more than welcome to come back to the video. But I'd like you to spend the next 30 minutes doing that now. OK, brilliant. Finally, um, just this last slide is going to talk about submitting your work. So your class teacher who has sent you the resources for this lesson will have given you a due date and explained the way that you need to submit your work. So in that email, it will say the date that is due. So it might be that you are going to spend some homework time on this as well and you didn't get it done in that 30 minutes. That's absolutely fine. Your teacher's going to explain that to you. And she's uh, she or myself um, is going to talk about how you might do that. So it might be through Microsoft Teams. It might be that Mrs. Broughton wants you to send her an email. If she's your teacher, if you're taught by me, um, I might want you to upload it to Microsoft Teams. But that is going to be in the email or on Microsoft Teams where you found the resources for today's lesson. So please ensure that you stick to that deadline and that you complete the work within that time frame. OK, so due date and the way to submit is in the email or on Microsoft Teams. And it's all from where you found the resources for this lesson. So please make sure that you stick to that date and that you try and follow that procedure if you can. Now, if you have any troubles, you want to email your teacher. Um, if you think that you're not going to be able to submit for that deadline again, you will need to email your teacher before the day that it is due. Please do not email on the day saying that it's not going to be finished because you need to make sure that you are more organized than that. And if you need any help, then obviously you are free to contact your teacher. OK, have a wonderful rest of the week. I uh, hope that you enjoy the other virtual lessons that you are taking part in. Stay safe. Thank you. Goodbye.